In this video, I'm going to show you how to use containers and tags from Bravo to start building your app. But first, roll that intro. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean and like I said earlier in this video, I'm going to teach you about tags and containers. Now these are going to be the fundamental building blocks when you're building an app using Bravo. Bravo takes Figma designs and turns them into native iOS and Android apps. And in order to do this, Bravo has actually came up with this system of naming layers and frames with certain tags that allow their system to translate those designs from Figma and turn them into actual working apps. Now a tag in Bravo is represented with two brackets and normally it's gonna be in the name of your layer. We're gonna take a look at probably one of the most used tags you're gonna use when creating a design in Figma and that's gonna be the container tag. Let's go ahead, let's jump into Figma and I'll teach you a little bit more about the container tag. All right, so I'm gonna bring over and paste a design element from one of my designs. Now if I do this and say up top I wanted a title and a menu, so I'll go ahead and give it a title. Let's make this a little bigger. A little too big, let's go. All right, so if I put a title right there and if I add a menu, we'll just go right here to a plugin. I'll search menu, get a menu button and I'll put it right on the side there. Now if we were to just leave there, if we were to just leave our Figma design like this and we were to import it into Bravo, our app actually would not look like our design that we have here. In order to get this to actually show up in our app when we use Bravo, we actually have to frame the elements of our app in containers. And we're gonna do that by using the frame tool. So if I go up here to the top left or if I hit the F key. Now I want two different sections. I want this top section, which is gonna have my title and my menu. And I want this bottom section here that's gonna have this category button. So what I can do is I can just take the frame tool and draw a frame. And I'm gonna size it to wrap around this top section here. Now a quick tip with um, the frame when we add our Bravo container tag is we do want the frame to be all the way um, from the left to the right, so the full width of our app screen. The height, we can make it whatever height we wanna make our container. So in this case, I'm gonna go right there at the bottom of the text. Now what we wanna make sure is that this title and this menu button are in our frame, okay? So we can come on over to the layers on the side and we can actually select the menu and title and we'll just click and drag them into our frame that we just made. Now we'll remain this frame and we'll name it header. All right. Now in order to make this a container, we're gonna go back into that name uh, and right after the header, like I was saying before, we're gonna use these two brackets. And within that bracket, we're gonna add the container tag. Now this is gonna tell Bravo when it reads this uh, Figma design that when it sees this container tag, it's gonna wrap these elements and display it to our app. Now we can do the same thing for this bottom section here. We can make a frame and we can make it wrap or button, remember, full width of the app. Now one thing you wanna make sure is your containers uh, have to be touching each other, right? They have to stack one on top of each other from top to bottom. If I left a gap here, um, the two elements, so this header here and my button would still show up, but this spacing from the top of my frame to the top of my button, would just butt up against this container here. So I wouldn't have this spacing that I do here. The bottom of this would just automatically touch the bottom of that. So if you do want to maintain the spacing that you have in your app, you want to make sure you drag it up and that the containers are touching each other. 
And again, we want to make sure that whatever we want within that section is within that frame. And we're going to just name this body and we're going to add a container tag to that. So wrapping elements of your design with the container tag is how you're going to lay out your app so that it works when you import it to Bravo. Now Bravo does have a bunch of other tags that you can use and that we're going to go over in later videos. Uh, but the container tag was the main tag that I wanted to introduce because it is a tag that you're going to probably use most often. Now, if you go to Bravo's website, they do have a learning center where you can kind of learn um, and read articles that they wrote about how to use Bravo. But if you come to their learning center and you come down to this Bravo tags master list, you can actually view all the tags that Bravo has to offer and how to use them, um, the naming that you should use when using the tags and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but that's kind of a list of all the tags that you can use with Bravo. And there you go. That was an introduction to Bravo tags. And we kind of learned a little bit about how to use them with the basic container tag. So you can go ahead, start using this tag or search other tags from Bravo and get to creating your no code application. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe here to my channel. And until next time, see ya. Oh, 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 oh,